In my lifetime, we would be uh, engaging in war based on lies. Uh, it had happened during Vietnam, and we saw the catastrophic result of that. And it was about to happen again in Iraq. Um, Michelle and I marched uh, along with a lot of people around the world, uh, and we felt helpless. We felt like we were parents watching our child run into the street and being helpless to stop them from being hit by the truck. And we knew what was going to happen. We knew that there was no connection between Saddam Hussein and 9-11. We knew that there was no evidence of um, weapons of mass destruction. We knew that those aluminum tubes could not be used to enrich uranium. And we knew that uh, the uh, administration was using the fear of the American public in uh, going forward and, and, and uh, invading Iraq based on the, uh, the only places that I've been outside of the United States was uh, we were in Zurich, uh, Switzerland for the Zurich Film Festival. We were in Dubai for a festival there and then here. And the response in all three of those places was way beyond anything that we had in the United States. Um, I think that uh, we saw protests all over the world in the run-up to uh, the war. And it was very clear to anybody outside the United States that this was a wrong-headed uh, effort. Uh, I think that the people inside the United States were traumatized by 9-11. And I also think that the press, uh, as a group might have felt unpatriotic if they went against uh, the administration. So the outside the United States, I believe people can see this thing much, much more clearly. And so I, I think it should do, do well here, and I think it will do well. Uh, to be honest, I think that, uh, I don't know if it's a new genre, I think people would rather see uh, something being blown up than people typing. <laughs> so, uh, I don't know. <laughs> but uh, those movies are great, and any time you can shed light on something that gives the audience a window into the truth, I think it's good.